Barron's out with a list of stocks that Wall Street loves on this Valentine's Day. Here's how they did it. They looked at the S&P 500 and they screened for stocks where more than 90 percent of the analysts covering it have a buy rating and a minimum of 10 percent upside to the price targets. They identified eight stocks, but we want to focus on four of them. There's all the names from the radio. Too bad. All right. The four names we're going to focus on. Diamondback Energy, the original Fang, Norwegian Cruise Lines, Boston Scientific, and Amazon. Alan Root is a special senior writer at Barron's, and he joins us now. You put this together. Um, so are these like the ones with the, the highest price target upside, or are these just eight names you picked out of a basket of those? Well, it's a good question. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a bit of a basket pick. So these are the stocks where the consensus on Wall Street, the analysts love them. Everybody rates them by. So, you know, Fang, there's uh, 34, 36 analysts, something like that. Diamondback Energy, not the group of tech stocks. Diamondback Energy. Everybody rates it by 100 percent. And it's a bit of a funny thing, right? You know, we often argue, is it a good thing that everybody loves it? Is it a bad thing everybody loves it? If you look at the list, it beats the market over the last three and uh, three years in it one does. year. It does work. Little bit. Some statistical backtesting. might be, well, statistical backtesting, that might be a bit of a stretch. Okay. But shocking that Wall Street actually may know what they're talking about from time to time. Uh, so some of these, some of these stocks, uh, uh, you know, could work from here. But every story is a little different, right? Like the people who are, who are recommending Diamondback are not looking at Amazon. These are totally different analyst pools. Energy, very difficult sector. You know, the Diamondback, best of the bunch. Amazon, obviously, tech stock in the other FANG index. Everybody loves that for a whole variety of different reasons. Yeah, and you got Norwegian Cruise Lines on here. Of course, Alan, I don't know when you started putting this thing together, but you got this coronavirus thing that's you know people off. I, I, I absolutely agree with you. You know, the coronavirus is a funny thing, and, you know, you were talking earlier about how it's going to impact global GDP. You know, for me, everybody gets a pass, right? You know, Q1, the Chinese print, oh, it's down six, whatever. Yeah. Everybody says, well, okay, well, we know what happened there. And, and they go ahead and look forward. You know, you don't want to minimize a human tragedy, but these tend to be three to six month impacts. And usually that's how I'm looking at it. Like, everyone will say, okay, but there's an asterisk. It's coronavirus quarter. Um, I want to ask you about Diamondback Energy. Mm -hmm. I've spoken to analysts off the record. They will never say this in public, but they're like, well, it's my sector. I have to like something. Like right. I, can't, I, can't have a, I can't have a neutral on every stock. I have to have some buys. So do you think that it's possible that in the case of the energy sector, the analysts are just like, OK, this is the least bad one? Or do you think that there's genuine love for it based on the analyst reports you've seen on that name? A bit of both. Okay. Right. If you look at the S&P 500, I think like, uh, you know, energy is it as at its lowest weighting. Yeah. percent. It's like, oh, you, you had it. It's, it's, it's like it's incredible. So, you know, there is an element of, you know, um, oh, goodness, it's pejorative, but dumpster diving, right? Like, what am I going to like should something good happen? Right. Right. Good things happen to cheap stocks, all that sort of stuff. You know, the, the coronavirus comes back and it, it destroys energy prices as well. But, you know, on some sort of normalized basis, you know, you do get. You know, uh, you know, analysts within the sectors often say not all companies. Some companies that we've said are going to go bankrupt in the public sector at this rate. You look mm -hmm. at, you know, there's there's names out there. Not everybody's going to go away. Right. I guess that's the idea. And actually, some of the. But, but my, I want to focus on who didn't make the list. Microsoft did not make the cut. That's surprising, actually. Didn't make the cut. Everybody loves it. Yeah, average analyst price target was only up six percent. But you it's, picked one above it. What, what was the tech stock on the list? That, Amazon. Amazon. That's, that's consumer discretionary. Yeah. What, what, what tech stock's on the list that's not Microsoft? Uh, the list no. is right there. Where's my list? You don't have one? You got Diamondback, Norwegian, Centene, yeah. Quanta Services, they L3, build energy. Boston L3, Scientific, Harris. L3 Harris, Cigna, L3 Harris Amazon. Is defense L3 electronics. Harris Quanta is going to be in, in the industry. That's industrial. Quanta service is the is they the make power plants. That's yeah. power plants. That's yeah. engineering and construction. I, I would say with Boston Scientific, it's similar to what Josh is saying. I mean, we've seen a run in a lot of those other stocks, Medtronic, Stryker. Right. So it's like that space is a space in healthcare that's better insulated from healthcare changes. And so therefore, right. and that's the one that has underperformed. So, I mean, I, I can see where if you're, especially if you're buying a basket of, of, of you know, medical devices, yeah. I can see Boston Scientific. But I think that's because the other companies have done so well. You being from right. Boston, is that a hometown call? <laughs> <laughs> but you make a good point. And, and, and really, it, it gets down to, you know, all of the reasons different analysts within different sectors. It's almost a little bit of inside baseball for Wall Street analysts and how they decide what to pick. Yeah. As much as, you know, these are the greatest stocks in the universe. And by the way, of your eight, the top three with the most upside, according to analysts, are Diamondback by far, because we know what's happening right. in oil and gas. 
Norwegian Cruise Lines and Centene. I know Jim Cramer just had the Centene CEO on about a week ago. Alan Ruda-Barons, we can check this out online today? Absolutely. Good stuff. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Happy Valentine's Day, Alan.